this to the cylinder. So I'm going to do a little cylinder here. So you would use just markers? Yeah, you can just use markers. Usually uh, with pastel, you want to create a texture. So chrome is usually really sleek, slick. And so you could use that. Um, you could use that. I'm going to try it see what happens. Yeah, we could do the marble. Oops. Okay, so we'll make this chrome and this marble. Okay, let's do the marble first. Okay, so this will be marble. I'm not using an underlay this time, I'm just going to use perspective. Professor, you know, does it have to use an overlay? You can just do it from a straight sketch? If you trust yourself, what I'm doing is I'm imagining a vanishing point here, and I'm imagining a vanishing point there. So in my mind, I'm seeing the underlay. In my mind, I'm seeing this. So at some point, you want to get to that point where you can just, okay, I know there's a vanishing point here. The key is the vanishing points are along a horizontal. You don't want to have things vanishing here and then uh, too high of a vanishing point up here. You want to remember that they're on an even layer because the vanishing point represents sideways. You're, you're looking side to side. You don't look sideways this way. So side to side, your vanishing points are this way, horizontal. Okay. So uh, I'm going to... Let's repete. Let's do the same thing and give this a, a value. So this can be stone. Okay. So that's the dark tone. Okay. This is the light tone. Okay, there you go. You have the two tones. Again, a different instructor will be a little bit more careful. So I like to work through this. So I can okay, let's tidy that up just a little bit. Fine. All right, let's do marble. Stone, marble. I forgot what it was. Stone. 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 Stony marble. Stone marble. Okay, so uh, I'm going to need scratch paper again. And let's do. Bluish green, I guess. Is that okay? Bluish green? Why not? There's a there's a lot of companies like a company called Corian that does fake uh, stone for countertops. Uh, Corian, and and there's a lot of laminates that are out there that look like fake stone. So we can get away with weird colors. Uh, so let's do blue and green since they're close to each other on the color wheel. I, uh, they tend to be a little more harmonious. Okay, let's cover these. And I'm not going to mix these. I'm going to let them blend themselves on the drawing paper. Okay. Alright, so now I do want to be a little bit more careful, so I'm going to mask these off. Now, rubber cement thinner is used to thin rubber cement, so it removes anything that's sticky. So post-it notes are sticky, so it could uh, remove the stickiness of the sticky notes. Post-it notes, just be aware of that. So um, it's kind of like the goo gone. I don't know if you know that. It's a, it's a solvent that removes glue. So I wouldn't use that. I tried to use it, but then oh, that corner doesn't match up. I have a corner there. Oh, that's because there's a cylinder. Right. Hey. I almost made a mistake. Always check your drawing. Hey. Okay, now let's have fun here. Um, do a little dab. This time I'm not going to streak. I'm just going to dab and twist. Okay, just uh, see and see what happens. Kind of discover as I go. Uh, 
but I'm going to use the wet technique, so I'm going to wet this cotton really quickly and cap it right away. You can also use lighter fluid, by the way. Lighter fluid dries uh, slower, though. You won't get, you won't see the results as as fast. Uh, stone is kind of cloudy, so just kind of make happy clouds. And, and if you want to put veins in there, then it will start to look like marble. If I just keep it like this, um, it will tend to look kind of like a slate or something. You could even go in with blue pencil and uh, you know add you know just random dots to to get some pores. And that will start to look kind of like stone. This this might need help on the corner here. And then when you label it stone, then everybody will believe it's stone. But basically, you know, it doesn't take much. Now, if I want to make this, so let's just see what this looks like right now. So this is like kind of a, a stony blue green. Okay, and then now uh, if I wanted to make this look like marble, you can use uh, veins, and veins are kind of spastic, so you kind of move your pen spastically. And this is just dark veins, so I'm doing a, a shorthand of veins. I mean, marble really has different characters, but this is kind of like a... A, a very generic marble. So, uh, what's better is also to use um, light colors uh, like for the veins. So you can use the white chalk. It'll, it'll show up better on. Um, if you don't like that one, just rub it out. Just I'm making too consistent. They're just thick and thin lines. So veins are sediments of, of sediment. And a sediment will will stay in some areas over the years, and then uh, and then not. So this is like sediment. You might have some brighter areas than other areas, and then they'll cross each other once in a while. But you can this could easily be overdone. You won't overdo it. But that's I'm going to be I'm going to say okay, I'm happy with that. Uh, and now let's make that look like a product. I'm going to put a lid on it. Let's put an angular lid on. I can't see that. I tend to flick my pencil to get it some character. I give the line a little bit of character uh, by having it nice and dark in the beginning and just kind of fade out. So, and then to loosen up the drawing, I'll, sometimes on one of the edge lines I'll overshoot just to uh, keep it fresh. Whoops. Try to stay on that straight edge. And sometimes it's a little accent. Uh, this accent leads the eye, it, you know, kind of guides the eye to the vanishing lines. So put a little accent here too. It's to loosen up the drawing. So that, that's done, basically. So I can go, hey you guys, this is marble. Believe it or not. Green marble. So I'm using the straight edge just to draw the vertical components of my letters. And then the rest is freehand. Okay. Are we okay with that? Can I just do it? It'll do, you know, it's just a sketch. I, I'm not usually hired as a renderer, you know, I'm hired as just a conceptual artist back in the days. So I won't spend too much time on that. I'll leave that to somebody from Art Center somewhere who are really good at really finishing drawings. So 